what is up guys today we'll be doing a full speed test comparison for the redmi 9 pro versus the galaxy a51 so they're both running android 10 one ui 2.0 and we have me ui 11 uh, so i think the a51 is like 70 bucks or 80 bucks uh, more expensive than the uh, 9 pro it's around 200 bucks this is around 280 or 270 i believe so uh, pretty interesting so let's go ahead and check it out you have the snapdragon 720g on the 9 pro and you have the xenos 9611 on the a51 uh, so let's go ahead and check it out let's make sure all applications are clear here now let's go ahead and open PUBG first so we can check out graphics performance we will check out RAM management as well three two one and as you can see just the massive display on the um, 9 Pro uh, they both have the punch hole uh, but the A51's punch hole is uh, definitely a little bit smaller here so it looks like the 9 Pro is already in and then the Galaxy A51 right behind it so let's look at graphics and as you can see HD high we have HDR and Ultra on the A51 so gaming experience is going to be a little bit better on the Galaxy A51 here uh, you're able to play you see if I go to HDR I can and there's no option for ultra frame rates here so and uh, you know definitely you know you could tell the difference in terms of like just smoothness when you're in a game so that that is one thing uh, that you will notice it's just going to be a better gaming device here so let's keep going let's open up some applications YouTube three two one seem to be faster on the 9 Pro here let's try Google Earth I think that might have been the 9 Pro Okay, let's go ahead and try Doodle Jump. Like you can see, way faster on the uh, 9 Pro here. And let's go ahead and try Temple Run 2. Nine Pro again here. Right, let's try the Play Store. Try the camera application now. This is a big deal because you know if you're trying to rush and get a shot, you want your camera app to open up fast. So let's go ahead and see. Three, two, one. Faster on the Note 9. So very good speed performance so far on the Note 9. Okay, so, so as we can see, Note 9 definitely uh, the faster device here. Scrolling on both of these phones, extremely smooth. So, all right, so let's check out RAM management. Let's go ahead and go back to PUBG. They both have four gigs of RAM as well. These are the base models. They both refresh there. Let's go ahead and try Instagram. Instagram still open. Subway Surfer. Still open on both. Let's 
go ahead and try Temple Run. Still open on the A51 here, refreshed on the 9 Pro. So I noticed that the 9 Pro or just the MIUI skin is just not that well optimized for um, multitasking. One of the things I noticed, let's try Doodle Jump. Still open. Well, it looks like it's still open on both. It's a little bit faster opening on the A51. Google Earth refreshed on both. Play Store still open on the 9 Pro, so pretty interesting. They're both not super impressive. Uh, when it comes to multitasking as we can see still open on the a51 here so let's go ahead and run through it again just to make sure let's go ahead temple run still open I hate that you have to double tap on the 9 pro still open Still open. Oops, Instagram go. So now these two are doing much better here. So multitasking is fine on both of these guys. Um, yeah, so. It's fine. I think the A51 just has the slight advantage when multitasking, but as you can see, after that refresh, they both did uh, pretty good. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.